Okay, here we go. Another episode. I think this is episode 15? Yeah, let's go with that. Or 14. 15. Number. Anyway. I don't know if actually this is the right place anymore. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Let's just kind of wander around. I'm sure we'll find. I'm sure we'll find something. Anything appear down here? Probably not. Just gonna fight so I level up. Try out that new Hiren I got. That costs a grand total of 143 to summon, which means I can't summon anything else. <laughs> Okay. He knows four of three moves, with Fang being by far, far the strongest. And he goes first, and I am guessing it's a one shot. If he doesn't one shot, I'd be like ridiculously surprised. 23 energy for the defeat. Good job, Tony. He's now level 27. Good job, Tony. So I am going to be playing uh, the maze game, which is to see where the fuck I'm supposed to go, because I don't remember this area that well. I do know this is where the Mushroom Iron is, and the uh, Cave Iron is. Oh, need boots to get across that. I might actually try getting those Hirons because of the fact that I have the Magma Hiron and he is OP as balls. He also uses like almost half my energy. Alright. I probably could just kill these dudes like fighting or scratch, but we gotta do overkill. So nice. Even though my dream creatures could already do that. Okay. So that's clearly not the way to go. Don't know what to say about going the wrong way. Who knows? I certainly don't. Uh, I am, I'm pretty happy about getting that high right now. <laughs> it's kind of like pretty nice to just get that off my chest. Be like, yep, I got it finally after like five and a half episodes. Uh, it's just kind of ridiculous. I actually, I'm pretty sure I have to go through this area to find the, uh, the boat. Pretty sure it's not the other one. Ooh, I got Flame Essence. That reduces damage from fire attacks. Conveniently, I like looked it up right before I started this video. Yeah. I wonder... I, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try fighting. Just see if normal fight does, uh... Come on. If it's a one-shot, just fight. It is! Oh, that's funny. How absurdly high his damage output is to just literally fight and kill it in one hit. Hmm. 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 Kind of a maze here. I mean, it's fine. I don't mind. Okay, so I've been here. This place doesn't look familiar, or maybe it does. I'm sure I'll recognize it soon enough. It all looks the same, it's all like brownie purple. you are at such a disadvantage, sir. I actually do need to get Tony some levels so that I can summon multiple Hyrids, or if my Magma Hyrid gets terminated, I'm not completely balls fucked. Because uh, getting him terminated it hurts so much. Especially when you're like relying on one creature. Hmm. This looks different. Oh, no, it doesn't look different. I lied. I'm sorry. Let's try going this way. Okay, so we've been this way before. I can confirm that one. 
If you're wondering, those whirlpools are basically portals to the higher dimension. Uh, you got port in the area where the uh, cave and mush irons are. Oh, like this. What is it? We're gonna try killing the mushroom iron. This is a mushroom iron, if you're wondering. We bats uh, signalize the cave iron because cave iron is like significantly better. And giant cord is fucked. 31 energy for the defeat, so they have about 64 HP. A 62, rather. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Okay, we're just gonna focus, and he's just gonna defend, and uh. You're also going to defend, because I have no idea your damage output right now. And Giant Court uses Fang on Tusk Wisp. How much did it hit him for? That's like 50 damage normally. That's really funny, actually. Spell. Cave in. Hey, Wisp, don't disappoint me. Magma Iron, I mean, Mush Iron has, like, significantly less defense, so this is actually gonna be pretty funny. Wow, what the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, then! Oh, no! Oh, he can't, he can't maul anymore. That's unfortunate. And he missed anyway. God damn it. I should have just, like, left this just to the higher end at this point. Like, he's just kicking that much ass. Fucking at 12 damage. Don't worry, he's got this. Giant core is eliminated. Gains 20 energy for the defeat. Oh my god. Nothing like completely emasculating uh, a dude who could probably have kicked your ass real easy. Crush. It's eliminated, no shit. That's like a 20, 20 HP move. But he's eliminated for that. How much energy do I get for that? Oh, he was almost dead anyway. Okay, we're not actually gonna fight Hirons, because I spent six episodes doing that already. Ooh, it's his Bailey sap. I'll use one sap, may as well. Some probably never come back here anyway. That's the, uh, that's where the mush and cave irons are. Mush just sounds. Mush is just short for mushroom, if you're wondering. Good to know that literally the magma iron could just solo that entire encounter, no problem. I might have to, like, heal him a bit, but, like, it's still, like, a joke. The Bwisp was actually completely useless throughout the entire thing. It was just a waste of energy. It would have been more productive to just not summon anything. That's only because, like, the Magma Hiron apparently hits for, like, 100 damage, so, you know, it's a thing, I guess. Oh no, I got an encounter. And... There's a temptation just to unequip all my other rings. And be like, yep, I am the Hiron Man. Don't really need anything else at this point. 24 energy for the defeat. Tony wins. Yeah, the Hirons start off at like level 50, if you were wondering, uh, random people. So, they're like completely set for the rest of the game. Like, I'm not even remotely kidding when I say that they're set. They have no real purpose to the game other than to make it trivially easy to beat it. Especially if you get it way early. Like, when you're not supposed to. Like, how kind of I did right now. And I'm trying to remember where to go. Since this place is mildly confusing. Just a little bit. Okay, so I've been here before, apparently. Having, like, absolutely no concept of where I am. 
sit here and enjoy the music for a second. Hmm. Maybe I was supposed to go through the vent area. Cause uh, it looks like this is a dead end. It looks like it anyway. Yeah, I think it's a dead end. I have to get the boots before I can do anything here. It's kind of unfortunate I just wasted 10 minutes trying to figure that out, but... Oh well. Oh well indeed. That's right, there's another area. I forgot about it. Because it's even further away. It's right here. Yeah, I forgot about this one. Oh, hey, tough guy. The guy I don't ever use anymore because I don't need him. Time to get out of here. 26 till about 52. Good job, Wisp. You are leveling. Enjoy the feeling, you might not get it for much longer. I'm trying to remember if there's something here. I remember someone saying this place is really confusing, I don't really quite see how. I mean, it's kind of confusing a bit. And also there's a bunch of that stuff, but that's just basically saying, hey, here's the exit of the place. Basically saying if you go down and manage to uh, get around that, you can basically get to the where you need to be. Karmic Fury. You don't usually want to use Karmic stuff, you want to just use runes, because runes uh, boost stats, and then uh, the Karmic stuff is a little bit of a trade-off. I have runes I hope, so maybe just using them right now would be a good idea. It's actually an opportunity to tell. Rune of Hope. Probably just like something dumb like increases defense. Zero permanently, because it can't actually get any higher defense. Oh, balls. Eight damage. Oh, the humanity. However, this does mean that it does some of the rest of the dudes. Because I won't be able to kill them fast enough. Well, I might. Might be able to kill one of them fast enough. Let's kill the most threatening one, which is this one. And then maul that one. And then Hiron's like, fuck off, meat. This is what I'm talking about. If the Hiron that I had, if the Hiren, wild Hirons I had to fight just spam Fang all the time, I'd be so fucked. And there's just like no chance. Alright. Tony wins. Tony is actually pretty close to leveling too. In fact, Tony's going to level after this fight. Keep up the good work, Tony. I'll probably, after I complete the Orth stuff, uh, go and uh, get probably a cave iron. Maybe a mush iron as well before I finish the Shadow Geyser, because uh, after that you get put into Shadow Hold, and having good dream creatures for that is going to be necessary. And like, hi the uh, Magma Hiron is like, good enough for that, to go through it for the most part, but I'd prefer to be a bit more set on it than uh, only one Hiron. Uh, if I had three, I'm in a very good spot afterwards, because you get thrown into Orth after that. And there's nothing wrong with Orth, it's just the fact that it's another basically another, like, huge annoyance to get anywhere. I'm pretty sure you come out of that one. 
there's a there's a secret door in one of these uh, things. If you're wondering why I keep walking up to each one of them, and I gotta mention you get lost here easy. Apparently you do, because I just walked out and didn't realize it. Okay, so there was nothing this way. I was pretty sure. Yeah, I can't do anything here, which means that I just got a process of elimination from this point on. Okay, so that's all gone. Which means I probably just like skipped over a path or something. There's nothing to do here. So that's just a straight path. That's right, going down here. And that was to the chest, that's right. I remember. I swear I remember. But I don't think I went this way. Although I think this way is also a dead end. Yep, it is. I have a feeling I just missed something. Something pretty easy. And I just wasn't really paying attention because I was talking too much. Whoop! Oh, what? Oh, okay. I didn't see that. I mean, it's not a big deal. Yay, it's a saber back. Unfortunately, I've got my higher on already, so saber back's useless. Saber back dead. I technically need one more saber back before I can make a saber back. I wonder if the guy for this place, the guy wrote, was like saying this place is confusing would be literally just go straight, because that's what you do. Going off the beaten path actually makes it more difficult. Is that any of these ones? No? Okay. I got a Rune of Fury. That's probably increases strength, given the name. And another Rune of Fury. Okay. And we go this way, then up. I wonder if it's any of these ones. I keep, I keep go, I keep wondering which one it is. It's one of them. I don't remember which one it is. It doesn't actually lead to anything good. It just leads to a fireball. That's it. Like it's just a fireball. It's a spell fireball. That is. Man, you know what bad in the music repeats. I can't carry another sap. I also can't use one, because well, I could, uh, but I'm not going to. I think you can still use it even if you're at full HP, because it's like one of those things in old video games where they're like, yeah, you know what? If a player tries to use a healing item when they're max health, they're fucking asking for it. I actually have no idea where I am right now. It's pretty cool. Cool beans. Ooh, what about this? Is this it? No, probably not. Close one. Nope. Let's go down. That seems like a good idea. Yay, we made it! And here's the asshole. Can I help you? Can I get a ride? Of course, that would be $300. What? <laughs> Take it or leave it, it's your choice. I mean, he's the only guy who's got a boat. This is the only time this happens, but uh, Korg and Zet try to blow up the ship. Good question of how they drive next to the ship when they uh, are on a raft. Good. Put it over there in the middle. Korg, if someone sees it, they can just dispose of it. I suggest we put it in a well-hidden spot, like over- SHUT UP! Oh! What the? Kick the bomb back. Uh... You are such a boom. And they live after this. They are the Team Rocket of this game. 
be 300 more dollars if you want me to wait for you. What? My time is valuable. Oh wait, be quick. I think if you don't pay him, he actually kind of starts like being a little cunt, so... Oh, right, don't bother talking to him. There we go, that one. Yup, secret staircases, man. It's too real for me. And now we're in Waterworld. This place is actually mildly confusing. Let's get in a fight. Since I need to get some experience anyway. I want to get to be probably about 400 HP. I can summon two higher ends at that point. Yeah! Don't know why I keep summoning Bwisp for. Bwisp is basically useless at this point. Since the idea is, is that I'm going to be getting another higher end. To basically replace him. Fourteen dollars. Be so much grinding necessary to like actually keep going with this, like to get this necessary nine hundred dollars needed to pay for your ferry on the way there to like keep him there because I believe you actually need him to be here. I got some LJ. Pick up some more. I got more. There's something in this one. I got a water of life. Let's use it. There's really no point keeping that stuff. Raised by five. I don't know why you couldn't just say my your energy is now blank, but it is now 380. Keep going, Tony. Keep chugging that water. It's like half a level up, basically, every time you get a water of life. Yeah, the, apparently, like, uh, I was just reading up on it, Morag has basically the highest bit count you can have for HP in this game, which is like 64 million, I guess. Don't know how true that statement is, but it's technically possible to beat him anyway, using uh, uh, creatures that have terminate abilities, since terminate one-shots no matter how strong the creature is, and you'd be able to use that to fund the amount of energy it would take to resummon your stuff from getting one-shot itself. And now my finger's itchy, so sorry, one second. Okay. It's not like, more like, not like itchy, but like just a sharp pain in my finger. Oh, there we go. This guy's apparently oblivious. He's not very good at guarding a vault. Yeah, another boring day. Nothing ever happens around here anyway. Fucking pirates. Came to open the vault. Is that so, you silly poop deck swabber? I think you're up to something. No, nope, I'll just send here by. You come here to ridicule me, haven't you? No, no, just listen for. Ah, oh, it's the eye patch, isn't it? I wanted a black one, but I ended up with. God damn it! Shut up! No, I has no <laughs> idea what the fuck you're talking about. No, he's ever been able to. Able to. You mean the key doesn't work? Key? What would be a key? Oh my god. I'm gonna give it a try, Tony. <laughs> he just flabbergasted that I opened it up. Jesus Christ, who could who could have done such a thing? Yay, I got the booties. Do 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 Go me. And I got a water orb. Is that all there was in here? Sheen covers? Looks like it. What a waste. But since you cleaned out the vault, that means that I'm free! Yay. You're welcome. And I'm gonna leave. Except, wait a second. Accept this thanks and take this. A horn. You're ever in trouble, and I'm in earshot, I'll be coming to help you out. Thanks. 
that that uh, you might not you might uh you might not think that's important, but you know it'll it'll be important. Trust me. Anyway, that actually opens up a lot of this game. Oddly enough, you'd be surprised on like how far you can actually get in this game once you can jump like three blocks. It's kind of like a miracle. A little bit like a Christmas miracle, to be honest. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother summoning the wisp anymore. There's no point. Since I can just... Bang! One shot. Victory. 27 energy. Gain $14. Tony wins. Etc, etc, etc. Tony, why are you so good at this? Oh god, it's this garbage. Where you're guaranteed to get injured. Oh no, he squirted all over me. Gross. Yeah, this is the point in the game where sometimes creatures spawn in before uh, you can summon anything. So, there's that. I even lose like one energy for this too. Kind of unfortunate, but whatever. What can you do? Yeah, this game, it opens up a lot once you can jump like three squares. There's so many areas in this- oh actually, apparently I just gained energy. But the hit for 26 and then using 8 on the higher end would have been more than uh, what I got off of that. I mean I did- hmm. maybe, maybe I miscounted? Okay. And Tony leveled up. Good job, Tony. Yeah, Tony! See, like, for example, here. I actually don't know what's in that whirlpool. You can't swim yet, so... Are you wondering why Tony never actually jumps in these things? Three a coin, and a balance scale. Completely worthless items. If you're wondering why Tony never, like, goes in the water and swims, is because he can't swim, so... That actually becomes a plot point later, and you think that the water... Like, there wouldn't be a water world in this game because of it? No, there's a water world in this game. It exists. It's a thing. Uh, it's just that... Yeah, I don't know. Hi, Scopade! We're gonna pay to go to the Weave, I think. Would you like a ride? Yes. Cost three hundred dollars. Pay. Where would you like to go? I want to go to Weave. I don't want to go to Calv right away. I don't think. How convenient that there is literally just a harbor like right outside of her house. And we're gonna go talk to these people. Tony, you're safe. And then I came here. That is uh, an amazing journey. Man, Jesus Christ. Yep. Even the people of the Cal don't deserve one of those terrible geysers. Just barely. Okay, apparently everyone just hates the Cal. Whatever. Wump. Fucking farting cats, what the fuck. Anyway, um... Just trying to remember. Um, I know how to get back to the cow at the least, so it's not like it'll be a big deal. It's, it's going through here. There's a way there. Actually, I gotta go back to their room. That's right, I almost forgot about that. I could technically go and fight more Hirons if I wanted to, so I might do that. But I may as well go and do this while I'm I'm kind of in the area, since you don't really have a reason to ever go back to Nerum anyway. This is just like pointless side tracking, really. But it allows me to get some blasters because I got the tickets a while ago for it. And nope, I can't go through there. Oh well. 
Yeah, well, you can swim through that area, though. But, uh, no, I, I'm going back here for blast urns because I need blast urns to get, um, either a, a leaf or a timber higher end later in the game. Oh, shit. Whoops. Not even gonna bother. It's such a waste of time. Even Tony wouldn't get any, like, decent experience. Oh, god damn it! I thought I could get through that one. Like, not even Tony gets any decent experience from this. Also, Hirons only seem to get, like, one experience for most fights anyway, for most of the game, since they're level 50 when they start. And there ain't much that's actually that level in this game. Near the end of the game, yeah, but I don't think they get that much experience even then. They're basically powerhouses. For example, the fucking Magma Hiron has max defense. The reason why he only takes, like, 12 damage from other Hirons hitting him with abilities is because he's got maximum defense. Also, I need to... There's something else I need to do for the Ormagon quest. But I'm gonna just... I'm just basically going to Nerum to finish up this video and go get some blast urns. Because once you start getting tickets, a shop opens up in Nerum. It allows you to buy some blast urns. Man, it's been a while since I've heard this music. Kind of let it sit there for a second. And the shop. Nope, that's not it. This one is it. Last turn. Yes. Yes. No. Your items with your tickets. Yes, we eat delicious tickets. Why are you eating tickets? I think that cat just threw up all over the place. Anyway, just uh, walk out of the town now to give this episode its concluding marks remarks. Well, once ever I get out of the city, that is. Whenever that is. Keep walking down the stairs. Alrighty. I'd say that's a pretty productive episode. Got me some booties, some wee little booties, and uh, yeah, got some levels. Hiren is still a baller, because he's going to be for probably the rest of the game. Uh, next episode, we'll probably be get going towards getting one more Hiren, which will be significantly easier this time, because of the fact that I have the... Um, I have a, a strong creature now, so it it's not a challenge, like you guys seen earlier. I basically easily decimated that higher and without even needing to use healing items so yeah we're going to continue that get one more of them it's going to probably be an underneath one although i could go for an air room one if i wanted to anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you next time